If you left the theater feeling a little disappointed by the Lion King remake, one fan artist has just the remedy for your blues. Digital artist and Photoshop wizard Nikolai Mochkin, who goes by the username at LJArt on Instagram, has reimagined the Lion King characters as they're seen in the new film and drawn them in a style more closely aligned with the original movie. Originally voiced by Jonathan Taylor Thomas, young Simba is played by J.D. McCreary in director Jon Favreau's remake, and he doesn't just sound different either. Gone are the exaggerated eye movements, head tilts, winces, and smiles that Simba expressed in the 90s movie, replaced instead by a lion who looks real enough to reach out and touch, but isn't really as emotive as before. Mochkin brought back Simba's signature sass in his reworking of the character's design, adding in downturned brows when the young lion cub knows he's in trouble, and giving him wider eyes as he looks out at the vast expanse of the Pride Lands. Adult Simba also got a retouch from Mochkin, who gave the remake's version of the lion his orange-tinged mane, bright eyes, and expressive face from the original film. And though she's voiced by multi-Grammy award-winning artist and chart-topping singer-songwriter Beyoncé this time around, Simba's childhood friend turned Queen Nala still wasn't perfect by Mochkin's estimations. He made her eyes brighter and bluer, her muzzle squarer, and her eyes larger and lower than before. To some, the biggest mistake the Lion King remake made was dampening the menacing presence of Simba's villainous uncle Scar. Voice actor Chiwetel Ejiofor, known for his work in films like 12 Years a Slave and Doctor Strange, did a pretty bang-up job making Scar sound as vicious as Jeremy Irons did in the original Lion King. But most people felt that Disney's animators failed to depict the mangy lion in all his sinister wickedness. Long live the king. Mochkin, however, aimed to fix that. He reimagined Scar with his trademark black mane, dark sienna coat, yellow eyes, and a scar that runs down his forehead and cheek. On top of all that, Mochkin even reworked the poster for The Lion King, in which Simba and his ragtag guardians Timon and Pumbaa look far more expressive than they did before. Though it was marketed as much, Disney's live-action remake of The Lion King wasn't actually live-action at all. It certainly was a remake, though, essentially taking the exact shots used in the animated original and reimagining them in photorealistic CGI animation. The end result was visually stunning, but it was also lacking a certain something, which many critics felt was the nuanced emotion present in the 1994 version of The Lion King. Oh, talk about your fixer-up. The edits that Mochkin created are sure to appease the fans who might have found themselves disappointed by The Lion King's remake, but they may also do something better still, motivate Disney to hold off on just pumping out live-action remakes of its classic animated films, and take a moment to actually consider what the best approach could be. There's no doubt that the nostalgia factor behind The Lion King pulled audiences to theaters in their droves, and it paid off, too. The new Lion King made over $595 million worldwide as of July 25th, 2019. But box office bucks can only take a studio so far, and if viewers aren't joyously picking up what it's putting down, it might just be time for Disney to figure out a plan to keep its future live-action remakes from getting hit with the same rotten reviews that The Lion King did. And if that never happens, well, at least we got some cool artwork out of it. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.